I'm Crystal. I've loved dolls my whole life. I collect everything from porcelain to cloth, American Girl, neonates, and real care dolls. But my favorite is to collect and make reborn dolls. There's Chloe, Grace, Jeremy, Maya, Yuki, Savannah, Zoe, Haley, Landon, Maisie, and Joshua. It isn't easy keeping up with my collection, but it sure is a lot of fun. Hi guys! So I am finally here with the final part of my after Christmas haul. Um, the video I kept teasing you guys on. And yes, as you can see, I got a new doll. Um, <clears throat> so this is Truly Me number 112. And she's been on my list for a while. Um, I actually, um, I did not have any plans to get her this soon um, into 2024. Um, I was actually like planning to get her later in the year. Um, however, with the news, again, with the news of uh, American Girl leaving Indigo Books, um, I realized that if I couldn't get her now, um, I would have to order her from the U.S. website later on and probably pay more. Um, <clears throat> so with that said, <clears throat> excuse me, at the time that um, I went on to Indigo's website to use up my gift card that I got for my birthday, <clears throat> as I told you guys before, I originally used the gift card to get the um, American Girl Character Encyclopedia Kits Scooter and the Up a Baby uh, Bassinet Rain cover. Um, because originally, of course, I, you know, the first thing I looked for was dolls. And they have Nikki listed on the website, however, not in stock. Um, and apparently I found out from some other people that Indigo never did have Nikki or Isabel's stuff. Like, they, it didn't have the dolls or any of their stuff in stock ever. So it's really bizarre that they added them. Like, everyone was really baffled as to why Indigo had added Nikki and Isabel in their collection to the website, yet it never came into stock. Um, so that was a whole weird thing with that. Um, so Nikki was not an option. Um, and so then, of course, I looked for 112, who was also on my list, and she wasn't even on the website anymore. Um, Indigo had removed her completely from the website, so that's why I went for the items that I did. Um, and then, like I said, on January 4th, I had a lupus clinic appointment, which is close to um, the Toronto Eaton Center, which has an Indigo books. And, you know, the Indigo books there was, um, it used to have, like, the actual American Girl Boutique within it. Um, if you guys have been on my channel for a few years, you probably saw my vlogs where I went to, um, the very first year that they were here, they had Grace's, um, Girl of the Year Grace's, uh, release that I went to and I lined up and everything. And then the next year it was Leah, I believe. <clears throat> and then after that, they sort of stopped having the release events, which was really disappointing. And things just kind of slowly continued to go downhill over the years. And I think COVID is what really killed it. Um, and I don't know. I think American Girl is struggling um, because they are closing quite a few stores in the U.S. as well. So I guess they just decided to pull from Indigo altogether. Um, 
So anyways, <clears throat> excuse me. So I thought, well, from what I heard through the grapevine on the Canadian American Girl Group I'm in on Facebook, they said, go to the stores because um, it, all of the Indigo stores have like a small little section of American Girl stuff that's left in the toy department. And once those items are sold out, then that's it. Like they're just selling off their whatever stock they have left. So I thought, well, and then I, and I had heard that a lot of, sometimes you can find stuff there that's not listed on the Indigo website. So that's when I went, um, after my appointment, I went there and, um, lo and behold, like if you saw my little vlog that I did, my little short video that I filmed in that section, um, you saw that they had two shelves, uh, or like a few shelves and then like two little sections in the middle sort of aisle sort of thing. Um, and they had dolls and they had outfits and things. So that's where, um, I decided to exchange my encyclopedia and Kit's scooter for two of Leah's outfits um, and then I decided, you know what, I'm going to go to the Indigo Books at Bay and Bluer as well on my way home because someone had posted a photo of what was left at the Bay and Blue store, which wasn't much. It's, it was actually even less than the Eaton Center. And in that photo... I saw number 112 on the shelf and they said that it was the only one left there though and this picture was posted a while back but I was like you know what it's on my way home I'm gonna stop off at Bay and Bluer and go to this Indigo store just to see what they have see if there's anything else that that's on my list that they have see if maybe they still had the 112 left on the shelf so i went and sure enough she was the last 112 that they had left and she was there and she was marked down to a hundred dollars which is a great price um because i believe indigo books hi maya <laughs> um i believe indigo books has the American Girls set at $139, I believe, is their usual price. Um, so anyways, I looked her over, and her face, her eyes are perfect, her face is perfect. Um, she is the Sonali face mold. Um... But what really sold me on this doll was her hair. Um, even though I'm really nervous about styling this hair and keeping this hair, it was her hair. But anyways, um, when I was checking her out in the store, I did notice that there that part of her wig cap is sort of showing around the hairline. And I was a little bit concerned about that. So I, I messaged Nicole because I know Nicole has her. And I posted um pictures in the doll groups i mean just to get some opinions on that and a lot of people that have her including nicole said um they would not worry about the wig cap showing around the hairline like some people said it would bug them and that it shouldn't be like that but there was other people like there was actually one lady that said hers is actually similar but she said because her hair is so poofy um once you fluff it up you can bring the hair down over the forehead and it sort of covers that hairline so you won't see it um so i was like you know what i might as well just go ahead and try it out and see um and hope that I can do that and that I'm happy with her and can keep her. Um, otherwise, I know I can, I hope I can still return her if there's an issue. Uh, because 
I am now filming this on February 1st. Yes, guys, I got her on January the 4th, and I'm only opening her now on February 1st. Isn't that terrible? I don't think I've ever waited this long to open a doll. And it's not that like I didn't want to or I wasn't excited. It's just that um, I have been so fatigued since Christmas. Like, I think I'm just recuperating from how busy that month is. I've had no energy. And I had a bunch of other videos that I needed to film before it. Um, and I've just been slowly working on filming those other videos and, like, January just flew by and now here we are February 1st. So I'm like, I better get her open um, because I can't remember how long I have to return her. Like, I hope I'm not past the deadline now. <laughs> um, and so hopefully everything works out. Um, but let's finally get to her. Sorry for such a long introduction. Um, but anyways, yeah. So I, like I said, I, I got her... Um, and I used my Christmas money to pay for her. So here we go. This is 112. I'm just going to quickly show you like the picture on her box so you can see like what her hair can look like when you fluff it up. She's got, you know, really, really poofy hair and I've heard her wig is pretty thick. Um, I would say from what I've heard, it's similar in a way to Yvette's hair wave pattern. Um, maybe a little more poofy than that. Um, and of course it's shorter. But anyways, let's finally get her out of this box. Because I am dying to see her. Um, so of course... Uh, these new Truly Me dolls come with this book called All About Us, a special book for special friends. Um, I believe I already have one of these books. I think one came with my boy doll. And it's just this fun book is filled with quizzes, crafts, and questions to help you and your new doll get to know each other and begin your one-of-a-kind friendship. Um, by journaling, drawing, and doing activities on each page, you and your doll will discover your unique talents and traits. So grab your favorite pen or pencil and get started creating a book that's as amazing and expressive as you are. So it's just this cute little book. You can fill out about you and your doll and stuff like that, little quizzes and things. Um, it's kind of funny that American Girl has put in this thing about AG rewards because Canadians, for some reason, are not allowed to sign up for AG rewards. What would be nice is that now that they're leaving Canada and they're leaving Indigo, it would be nice if they now would allow Canadians to sign up. What's funny is I was able to sign up with my American Girl account that I have on their website. It allowed me to sign up for the rewards, but it will not allow me to actually collect the reward points, which is really dumb. But anyways, let's carry on. Okay, here we go. So she's wearing a little like, I call it like a t-shirt dress. It's just like a cotton short sleeve dress. Um, it's black and it has like a, an emoji sticking out its tongue, emoji face. It's got little hearts, stars, um, a heart, and then a thing that's in pink <clears throat> font. It says what? Um, there's eyes, heart, unicorn. It's really like random stuff. It's really a weird kind of dress if I'm, if I'm, uh, being honest. And her shoes are a sparkly blue slip-on running shoe with um, pink fake laces. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can do here. Let's see if I can get her out without scissors. I might need to go grab scissors. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Um, I might just do that. 
There we go. Uh, I really wish they still had these as elastic and not these weird plastic things. But what can you do? I really hope everything works out okay with her wig because her face is actually gorgeous. Like I really looked at it over in the store. I'm like, her eyes are perfectly even. Um, they're not glancing downwards from what I could tell. Um, so yeah, here she goes. And then I'll have to think of a name for her because the number dolls um they don't come with a name there she is okay let's get the foam off of her arms whoops and her ankles oh oh there's something in her shoe there's foam in her shoe too that's interesting. Whoops. Uh, there we go. Oh my gosh, look at the glittery shoes. Now the shoes are adorable. I do like the shoes. Let's have a look at the shoes. Up close. Those are super cute. Um, they're white on the toe, white soles, and then blue sparkle. And it's not the kind of glitter that flakes off, I don't think. Doesn't seem to be. Um, and the laces are like a bright pink. And she is um, dark skin. And there's her dress. Oh, there's even a moon here at the back. It's a really weird, random dress. I'm not really overly impressed with it. Now let's get a good look at her face before I take her hairnet off. There we go. Let's see. I just want to make sure that it's in focus. So there she is absolutely gorgeous face she's got dark brown eyes she's got the painted eyelashes and hers are painted very very nicely i know it can be um hit and miss when it comes to the painted lashes i hope that's coming up okay on camera i don't know how well you guys can see the painted eyelashes my camera doesn't do well at focusing on very up close but there's like you can see there's like bottom lashes top lashes and then of course they still have the actual like eyelash on the eyelid i know um some people aren't a fan of the painted lashes they think it looks weird because they already have these like fake lashes on the eyelid um i personally love the painted lashes i feel like it makes their eyes pop. And then she's got the feathered eyebrows, which apparently now all the dolls have feathered eyebrows as well. They got rid of like the eyebrows where like some of the dolls used to be painted with just like a line. <laughs> but now they have like the actual feathered eyebrows, which is so much more realistic. Um, her lip color is really pretty. And her lip lips are painted really nice. Her teeth are painted perfectly. Um, and as you can see, like her eyes are looking straight ahead. They're nice and even. So her face is absolutely gorgeous. Um, so with that said, we're gonna take off the wig, or the wig, the hairnet, which I always get nervous about, but let's go for it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now, I know that this hair is gonna need some floofing <laughs> um, to get it looking as good as it looks in the picture. Um, so it will take some floofing. 
Um, but just straight out of the hairnet, I just wanted to kind of show you the texture. So you can see it's very like tight curls um, and waves. I'd say it is actually, it's tighter. I think it's tighter than Yvette's. Much tighter curls <clears throat> than Yvette's. Um, and very, you know, it, it's going to be on the frizzy side. It is a little bit frizzy. But that's the point. Like, I think it's supposed to be like that textured um, hair. Um, yeah, so it's kind of clumped together right now. But as you can see, just, just running my fingers a little bit is already like, you know, separating it a bit, fluffing it a bit. Um, I'll have to really work on it, I think. But anyways, um, before I start bringing it too far forward, I kind of wanted to show you what I was talking about with the wig cap. Um, I don't know how well it's going to come up on video, though. Uh, let's see. I guess it's as good as it's going to get. Um... So it is kind of hard to see, which I guess is a good thing. If it's hard to see on camera and even to the naked eye, then I say I have a pretty good chance of covering this. But um, you can just sort of see the wig cap along this line here. I don't know if you can see that. But, um, and it... And it's like you can kind of see where it's sewed a little and a little bit of glue there. Um, and you can see it just, you can just see the line of it. It's not actually as bad as I thought it was. Maybe it was the lighting in the store or maybe it's the lighting here. Um, but I think when I fluff it up, it's going to, and bring it, you know, like over her forehead a bit. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see that. Um, but I have to work on it. I have to try and fluff it up. I'm almost wondering if, like, um, it might look a little weird. But maybe, like, giving her a little shake. <laughs> to fluff it up a little. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to look at some pictures and try to see how I can, like, get this looking really really nice and I'm sure I can but it's just gonna take like I'm kind of I think what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of like scrunching and fluffing and already it's sort of like you know it's not so flat because it was flattened in the um hairnet you know um so you can kind of see already just with that little bit of floofing, it's getting poofier. It is a very thick wig, very, very thick. You can just feel with your hand how thick that actually is. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to, cause, what I, cause I really like how the stock photo is. Um, I'll look at it again and see. So they kind of have the bangs, um, they have it kind of coming down this way. And see, when you do that immediately, like, you can't really see that wig cap anymore. So, I like that. And, um, I know in the picture you can't really see the part either. So, I feel like... I don't know if I'm if I maybe need to go in with um, some just mist it with some water and then do like my American Girl pick a little bit to fluff it. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to see what I can do to make it look as close to the picture as possible. Um, so yeah, I don't know. 
Like I said, I don't know if I will need to maybe spritz with a bit of water and then maybe use my American Girl hair pick or I don't know, maybe I can go into the um, AG group and get some tips there. Cause it's also a little flat at the back. Oh, but you know what? Like just scrunching it with my hand is what's sort of making it look fuller and not so flat. Um, so I'm, I'm liking this. I feel like it's gonna be kind of like um, my Reborn Maya's hair. In that sense, like Maya's isn't quite as frizzy, but sh hers is quite curly. And I just sort of do the same thing with hers. I, I missed it. I kind of comb through it a little bit and then I bunch it, like scrunch it. <laughs> um, so anyways, <clears throat> there she is. So this is, um, Truly Me 112. I'm trying to figure out how to do this whole look with her bangs where it's sort of swooped downward but also not like sticking up in the air weird. Um, but anyways, I'll have to play around with with her hair and figure it out. I'm sure I will. Um, so yeah, there's um, 112 in my collection now. Earlier than I had wanted, but you know what? To get it in Canadian funds and for a hundred dollars is you can't pass that up. Just can't pass that up. So, anyways, there she is, guys. And please leave some name suggestions below. Um, one thing that I have always thought when when seeing photos of her online anyway like other people's uh photos of her as i kind of like thought she sort of reminded me of whitney houston in the 80s with the big hair um so i don't know if i should name her whitney i've been toying with that idea um and she could maybe be like a friend for courtney um, but yeah, I'm, I, I love, I love her. So I think she's to stay. I think I can work with the, with the wig. It's already like, you can't really see the, um, outline of the wig cap already just from what I'm doing. So, um, I'm happy with that. So I guess she's staying. So like I said, guys, I need a name for her. Leave your name suggestions below and thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time. Bye guys!